U.S. and Canada flew equipment, including armored vehicles, to Haitian police over the weekend. Jeanette. We are now three weeks away from Election Day. This morning, we are talking about a top polling issue, immigration. Texas Governor Greg Abbott has been sending buses of migrants to D.C. since early spring. D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser declared a state of emergency in September. But how does this issue impact the rest of the DMV and, of course, the rest of the country? We want to bring in Washington Times reporter Mika Solner to break down this issue. Good morning to you, Mika. Good to see you. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. So let's talk about uh, the, the immigration issue, but specifically migrant buses here in D.C. What's the latest on that? Yeah, so we've already seen um, quite a few buses be dropped off in D.C. and other sanctuary cities across the country by Republican governors. Um, we've seen at least three loads be dropped off in front of Vice President Kamala Harris's residents here. Um, but we're doing, we do see a number of them being interviewed by local media, telling them that this is not their final destination. So um, I guess, you know, the journey continues for a lot of the people coming in, but we can definitely expect to see more as, um, you know, governors from Texas and Florida uh, try to make a point about, um, you know, their issues with the administration's policies on the border. Where does immigration rank in the polls as of now? Yeah, so we're definitely seeing immigration being a big issue that Republicans are running on. They are painting Democrats as advocating for open borders um, and being weak on policies um, on illegal immigration. So they're definitely making that a big play. Um, Democrats, meanwhile, are making it more about, um, you know, being humane, really hitting at these Republican governors who are uh, sending these migrants and saying that this is an inhumane policy and that they're using people as political Props. So we're see we're definitely seeing it being used um, as an issue, but not as high as uh, the economy and other concerns we're seeing from voters. Yeah, inflation and the economy is still ranking um, by far as as the number one issue for voters. I'm curious, with Abbott's moves uh, move sending migrant buses up this way, has it shifted the conversation at all? Has it pushed it up in terms of its ranking and in, in, in importance or pretty much people, you're not going to move anyone either way at this point? What would you say? Yeah, I would definitely argue that the top issues in this in the midterms are going to remain to be inflation, uh, rising crime for a lot of places. But I think Republicans are really trying to make immigration more of a central role in their campaign efforts. Um, and we're just going to have to see that how that plays up. It does have the potential to play out in some of these vulnerable districts, particularly ones uh, with open seats in places that are in close proximity to the Border, I would argue, like in, in Texas right. or Arizona, um, a toss-up. So uh, we're just going to have to see. I want to go back to Democrats really quickly because I remember earlier this year, uh, Title 42 was a big, big talker, and there wasn't as much of a unified message even among Democrats. There was some division as to how to handle the issue. Um, do you find that there is a more unified message now? And uh, if there isn't, is that hurting Democrats? Yeah, so we're definitely seeing Democrats be more defensive about the Biden administration's stance on the border. Um, so they're uh, defending the president and, um, you know, making sure that people uh, know that they, they, they believe that the border is secure and that they're doing the best they can. And they're also trying to paint Republicans as just being, you know, extreme on immigration. And so, you know, the administration is very pro-immigration. Um, and they're also just trying to also find a deal to, uh, you know, help uh, early arrival uh, migrants and uh, be more compassionate towards uh, uh, migrants coming in. Yeah, certainly a big issue. But as you mentioned, a lot of other competing issues, in inflation being the top one as of right now, with those numbers still rising and uh, directly impacting voters. Mika Solner, uh, Washington Times reporter, thanks for joining us this morning. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right, Steve. Send it